the S-Wrench, how to use your Enerpak S-Series square drive hydraulic wrench. In this section of the video we will review the safe operation and general maintenance of the Enerpak S-Wrench. Square drive placement and removal. Make sure the tool is not pressurized and it is disconnected from the hydraulic supply. To attach the square drive shaft, first insert the drive shaft into the ratchet. Press the release button and keep it depressed. Push and turn the drive shaft until it locks into place. To remove the square drive shaft, press the release button and keep it depressed. Pull the drive shaft until it is released. Remove the drive shaft from the ratchet. To attach and remove a socket. To attach, position the socket on the drive shaft and fit the retaining pin through the hole in the square drive. Move the ring over the pin. To remove, slide the ring off of the retaining pin opening, remove the retaining pin, and take the socket off the drive shaft. To mount the reaction arm. Because of the rigid steel design of the S-Wrench, the reaction arm can be rotated incrementally around the tool, with maximum torque limited to the range shown. This will maintain stability against a reaction point up to full torque. Position the reaction arm onto the ratchet end of the tool. Press the latch and slide the arm all the way onto the tool. Release the latch to secure the arm. Approximately 1 8 inch of the splined end of the wrench should be visible on the outside of the reaction arm. To adjust the angle of the reaction arm, press the latch and slide the arm off the tool. Position the arm as necessary. To connect hoses. First, make sure the hoses match the pressure rating of the pump and wrench you will be operating. Next, make sure there is no pressure in the system. If there is, turn off the pump and depressurize before proceeding. Remove the hose dust gaps. Notice that there are male and female couplings on the hose and on the S-wrench. Connect the hose with the female coupling to the advanced side of the wrench. This is marked with the letter A. Slide the sleeve down over the advanced coupling and hand tighten completely. Connect the male hose coupling to the return coupling on the S-wrench. This is marked with the letter B. Slide the sleeve in place and hand tighten completely. Fit the hoses to the pump and follow the same procedure as with the S-wrench. Remove the dust caps from the hose and pump. Similar to the hose and wrench, there are male and female couplings on the hose and on the pump. Verify the couplings are clean and free from debris. Connect the hose with the female coupling to the advanced side of the pump. The advanced side is marked with the letter A. Slide the sleeve down over the advanced coupling and hand tighten completely. Connect the male hose coupling to the return coupling on the pump. It is marked with the letter B. Slide the sleeve in place and hand tighten completely. Pump operation and setting torque. Adjust the pressure on the pump as necessary to set the torque desired. You can use the settings listed in your pump's manual to set the pump pressure, or go to the bolting calculator at www.enerpack.com. When possible, a single user should operate the pump and the S-Wrench. This can help prevent accidental activation of the pump while the operator is positioning the wrench. Tightening and loosening positions. To tighten a bolt, you may first want to make sure that you are using the proper lubricant to assist in the process. Fit the drive shaft to the tool as shown. To tighten a bolt with the S-Wrench, position the socket over the nut you would like to tighten. Position the reaction arm against a suitable reaction point. The reaction point will counteract the force caused by operating the tool. Start the pump. Operate the tool to tighten the nut. Stop the pump after the work has been completed. When torquing, it is common to tighten only one bolt at a time. This can result in point loading and load scatter. To avoid this, torque is applied in stages following a prescribed pattern. Tighten the nut spanner tight, ensuring that two to three threads extend above the nut. Tighten each bolt to one-third of the final required torque following the star pattern as shown. Increase the torque to two-thirds following the star pattern as shown. Increase to full torque on the third pass again following the same pattern as used in steps one and two. Perform a final pass on each bolt working clockwise from bolt one at the full and final torque. Loosening. Fit the drive shaft to the opposite side of the tool. 
you may first want to apply releasing oil to the threads and allow the oil to penetrate. Position the wrench socket on the nut as shown. Operate the pump and S wrench until the nut is loose. When loosening bolts, a torque value higher than the tightening torque is normally required. This is mainly due to corrosion and deformation in the bolt and nut threads. The breakout torque cannot be accurately calculated. However, depending on conditions, it can take up to two and one half times the input torque to break out. The use of penetrating oils or anti-seize products is always recommended when performing breakout operations. Safe handling of the S-wrench, do's and don'ts. Proper location of the reaction arm. Improper location of the reaction arm. Be aware of pinch points from the reaction foot. The reaction foot can pinch your fingers or the hose if you are not careful. Do not work in line with the bolt you are tightening or loosening. Preventive maintenance. Check the tightness of the swivel manifold pin screws. Pressurize the drive unit to maximum pressure. Advance and retract and check for leaks. Damaged components or seals must be replaced. Remove the drive shaft. Remove the housing guard screws and remove the housing guard. Release the crank pin from the piston rod hook. Remove the crank assembly. Remove the ratchet, spring-loaded drive shoe, and compression springs. Clean and inspect for damage. Any damaged components and seals must be replaced. Dry all components and apply a thin coat of molybdenum disulfide to the locations as shown. Do not apply any lubricant to the ratchet or drive shoe teeth. Reassemble the components in reverse order except the housing guard. Make sure that the crank, drive shoe, ratchet, and crank pin are correctly installed. Failure to install these parts correctly will result in component damage or injury to the operator. Connect the tool to the pump. Check the tool at nominal pressure to make sure the piston advances and retracts. Attach the housing guard. Thank you for viewing this training video on the Enterpack Professional S-Series Square Drive Torque Wrench. Enterpack. Powerful Solutions. Global Force.